my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. In today's gospel, we can realize how God challenges His chosen people the most through the incarnation of His beloved Son. The announcements of Christ's birth to Joseph brings us face to face with God's presence that the Messiah is Emmanuel, God with us. Yet, it tears down Joseph's comfort and competence. There is no other time when Joseph's life is more frantic and flustered. Truly, the challenge of Christmas is the very challenge of the gospel. As Joseph prepares to be married to his beloved, he hears the distressing news without explanation, without warning. He finds out Mary is pregnant. He is now faced with a difficult decision. Imagine Joseph's discomfort. How could he walk down the streets of Nazareth? The stairs, the whacking tongues. What did he do wrong? What we now understand as a great privilege, Joseph's experience as a tremendous challenge to his comfortable life. God's presence challenges both Mary and Joseph's comfort. Likewise, God's presence challenges our comfort. Being a Christian can bring much discomfort in our life. God's presence brings with it offense, scandals, just as Joseph and Mary encountered. In this day and age, we become less comfortable to express our faith. We mistakenly believe we can live as cultural Christians, as ones who synchronize our faith with the culture around us so that we do not stand out. Yet there are times God calls us to move, to act, to respond in ways which run counter to our cultures. Second, God's presence challenges Joseph's and our competence. When God's presence challenges our comfort zones, it often does so by challenging our competence. We face the harsh truth that we are not as strong, as powerful as we think we are. Joseph found himself in a difficult position. There was nothing he could do but accept what God was doing. He did as the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. Like Joseph's, God's presence challenges our competence. Christmas is a time when you want to be able 
to buy a right gift one that would amaze your wife you picture your kids falling at your feet and flowing with profuse praise for your wonderful love it is christmas when you ready the house decorate it with care and throw parties yet how many of you had experiences of feeling blue at Christmas. My dear brothers and sisters, Christmas might be about challenging our comfort and competence. But above all, Christmas is about the incarnation of God taking our flesh. It is about God with us the good news here is good news only when we consider why god had to do this god is with us not to make us feel better about ourselves but because christ came to die in our place to save us from our own sinfulness i hope that you would not find this Christmas a challenge. Rather, be comforted to discern that the Son of God was born because of you. Amen.